Thanks for clicking on the video. I just wanted to make this quick little vid showing you guys what I do to every spinner bait that I get and what I how I clean them. Because you know those blades when they get dirty, they don't shine as good. You want those things shiny, catch those fish, you know what I mean? So this is what I do. First off, every spinner bait I do, I get <laughs> I put a trailer hook on it and I put a small trailer hook on it I don't put the one the size of the main hook I put a smaller one because I love catching quality giant fish but let's be honest I like catching fish no matter what the size more than just getting skunked on the big ones so if I have a smaller fish I've caught bluegill on his back hook and I've caught four pound bass on it so uh, I go with a smaller one and I, I use the Gamakatsu. I think they're one knot. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But it comes with this little vinyl tube. I stick it, stick it over the eye of the hook, and slide it on the spinner bait. After a while, that hook, that hole gets widened out, and this spins out freely. But when you first put it on, it's pretty stiff, like this one. But uh, I mean, trailer hook. That's the number one modification. The other modification is. I'm a guy that likes to use snap swivels, uh, ball bearing snap swivel. I hate tying on new lures on the water. It's just a waste of time <laughs> in my mind. Uh, I use a snap swivel. I mean, you change them out so, because the wire on the swivel will break from a repeated uh, opening and closing. So you, I don't know, I'd say after 10 lure changes, I change out my snap swivel. But if I put it on a snap swivel on this, it just slides all around and gets hung up on this little ball bearing. So this is what I do. I make a little wire, um, little clamp. And it's so easy to make. Uh, granted, if this thing pops off in the future, you can put a new one on. This is how simple it is. I take this stuff, some like uh, floral wire. I mean, if you got any wire laying around the house, it'll probably work so you cut off a piece make a bend in it I apologize for air conditioner I am in the basement in my workshop but uh make a little bend in it slide that loop in I take my uh like hemostats I believe is what they're called clamp it on the back side and twist it And it'll snap right there it snapped and you can see that creates a nice tight band granted that band will might fall off or rust off but it's so easy to replace if it didn't snap off evenly just uh, touch it up but now when you put your snap swivel or even if you like tying your line on it that line ain't going nowhere I seen uh, some videos of people putting little snap rings uh, on here, but that slides up and down. This is solid, so easy to do. I recommend you to try that. This is my Harbor Freight cheap ultrasonic cleaner. I use this thing to clean all kinds of stuff. It's really seen its fair share of use with me. But I have some really hot water in here. I uh, have the heater on on the machine and all I'm going to do is put a little bit of dish soap in it. Turn it on. Going to lengthen the time that it works and all you do is put your spinner blades in there. Let's see if I can show you. These blades are all uh, water stain they're not they're still shiny you catch fish but I like mine squeaky clean and this will even take off some of that uh, vegetation that it's all caught up in the skirt material put it in shut the lid let it run its course I'll show you what it looks like when it is done all right it's about just about ran its course so I'm gonna take the lid off now this water is scalding hot so I'm going to take my little pliers, take all the spinner baits out. I'm going to lay them in this lid so they don't get disgusting on my workbench. 
All right, I'm gonna dry these off, give you guys a closer look and see what the difference is. Well, the spinner baits are still a little moist. I didn't want to sit around a couple hours and let them air dry. So I'm just gonna show you how they uh, turned out right out of the machine. These uh, blades are like new. I mean, they do still have scratches on them for why I bang them off of things. But uh, I mean, the paint jobs are clean. The skirts don't have any junk in them anymore. The hooks are still shiny and clean. Um, there's certain type of spinner blades that I buy have this little vinyl tube right here. It's hard to get the stuff out of that until you move the tube out of the way. But I don't care. All I really care about is the blades, making sure they're clean, throwing off as much um, sh shine in the water, track those big fish. Or little fish, that's why we have the trailer hook. <laughs> but uh, that's what I do. Just uh, once this out, once the video's over, I'm gonna hang them up to dry. And uh, for about a day before I put them in the t tackle box so nothing rusts. But before I shut the video off, I'm gonna show you guys how I store these in my tackle box. I own two of the 3700 Flambo tackle boxes, waterproof ones. And uh, I can generally keep everything I need in it other than terminal tackle, put it in my book bag, and uh, start fishing. But this is how I uh, store my spinner blades. I take the trailer hook and bend it over, and I've cut a notch in one of these compartments. So two of the compartments will be for uh, spinner blades. I just took a razor blade and cut two slits, not all the way down, it's about a quarter... A quarter inch from the bottom but uh, you twist in that trailer hook and just slide that bar right into that slot and it sits in there perfect and I just stack them on top of each other trailer hook and put them in there I mean I'm not you could fit quite a bit of them in there like this just make sure their skirts stay in their own compartment but yeah, that's how I uh, store them in the tackle box. I don't buy any separate boxes just for this. I just sacrifice two areas, actually four, because these are the little individual ones. But it's good in my mind. I don't need to carry a bunch of tackle when I go fishing. I kind of know what I want and want to use. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, just a sneak peek or give you guys a little insight. I plan on making a video on how to make a lure out of a screwdriver and catch a fish. So uh, I'm excited about that video, so stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing.